What's up, gang? Ryan here from Ruck Beer. Uh, I'm here today with two new products to take a look at from Go Ruck. We've got the Go Ruck Sandbag 2.0 and their brand new offering of the Simple Sandbag. All right, Go Ruck Sandbag 2.0 carries over a lot of the features and things that, that I love about their original sandbag. Uh, but a lot of what we see happening in the 2.0 is really um, a lot of improvements built around the filler bag for the, the sandbag 2.0. And to be honest, the filler bag for the 2.0 is the simple sandbag, just minus these additional handles. We'll get into all that in just a minute. Just looking at some of the features of the Sandbag 2.0, uh, thankfully GORUCK has kept all their beautiful glorious handles uh, both on the top and bottom of the sandbag. You're going to find all these great uh, different ways that you can grip the sandbag. We've got one, two, three different handles here in the middle for, sand, uh, for farmers carries and different uh, ways to lift and grip. Uh, we've got the two overlapping uh, handles here that are great for like clean and jerks and overhead presses, things like that. And then we've got a handle on both ends, great for drags, overhead presses, basically a lot of ways to get variety in how you handle this odd object. What's great about the handles as well, and this is something that I've always appreciated about the GORUCK sandbags, is that they take the time to actually put a piece of neoprene inside each of these handles as they stitch them together. So they're, they're really probably, in my opinion, the most comfortable uh, handles to grip as far as sandbags are concerned. I've had some brute strength uh, sandbags in the past, which um, unless they've changed them over the years, are just the Cordura material. They just don't feel as solid on the hands. They're not as comfortable to grip. Um, these really are something that set these sandbags apart from other sandbags. Uh, in addition, you're getting really high quality stitching here. We've got this Box X uh, locking in each of the handles. Um, and just a real sturdy quality construction. Uh, you've got the GORUCK embroidered logo or uh, on there, branding, and it does come with a patch that designates the weight of the sandbag. But as I mentioned, it really is a lot of the improvements that GORUCK has made in the filler bag that I think really takes us into that 2.0 realm. First thing you're going to notice is that we do have uh, embroidered branding on the filler bag as well as uh, your weight designation on there, which is nice. Um, in addition, one of the changes that GORUCK has made is in their stitching. So it used to be that uh, the stitching for the sandbags was around the perimeter. And I believe what GORUCK experienced through their SCARS program is that a lot of the failure points were just after repeated slamming of the, the bags that um, a, a breaking point was often in these side seams. And so they uh, spent some time researching and trying different techniques and really found that this uh, double pass stitch um, right here down the middle uh, was something that helped to alleviate that pressure point. Uh, GORUCK has a really cool video on their website, if you go check it out, that talks about the stitching process uh, and how basically bulletproof uh, this approach is. You'll also notice uh, a difference between previous filler bags is that we have these two inch uh, piece of webbing that runs uh, around the entirety of the filler bag. This, uh, as I understand, helps retain the shape of the sandbag and helps reduce that pressure uh, as the bag gets slammed over and over again. So GORUCK is essentially thinking, is, is thinking how can we make this bag as bulletproof as possible knowing that people are slamming it on the ground uh, day after day after day after day. Uh, 
Final improvement of the filler bags is they have gone from a double locking loop uh, Velcro to triple locking. So what that means is we've got this first flap here. help keep that sand locked in and then we go again for our second pass of velcro and then finally to get in this bad boy one more uh, bit of velcro to get through so we fill it here with sand we lock it down we fold it over and then we lock this down so as far as the potential for sand to escape from here uh, with all that crazy Velcro, uh, I think the sand is safe and probably not coming from uh, a, a weak spot in this area. As I mentioned, uh, GORUCK has released something they are calling the Simple Sandbag. And as you can tell, the Simple Sandbag is just a filler bag where they've added two handles. Uh, again, these are these super comfortable handles. They've got the neoprene in them. Uh, they feel great to hold. Um, the simple sandbag is just that filler bag. Only difference that you'll see besides the handles is that we've got the embroidered uh, branding here on the front and we also have it on the back. Uh, this is an interesting offering for GORUCK. Uh, essentially, the Sandbag 2.0, uh, at the 40-pounder, it's coming in right now at $120. Price only goes up from there. And the Simple Sandbag, starting price is $49 at this point for the 40-pounders. But then the 60, 80, and 100-pounders are coming in at only $59. So a really accessible price point for those sandbags. Uh, currently, at the time of this video, the 80 and 100 and maybe even 120 are not available for the 2.0. Uh, I expect those prices to continue in that 150, 60, 70 range. Um, so you're looking easily at double, if not triple, the price of a simple sandbag to get to the sandbag 2.0. Now, I think these things are worth it. I think these things are uh, amazing sandbags for, for working out, for preparing for GORUCK events, uh, as having a great ob odd object to work out with. But if you can't buy a whole bunch of these, this is a great access point uh, for the price. Now, you're going to lose a little bit of durability. Obviously, you've got a filler bag and an exterior shell. You've got extra handles, uh, opportunities to do different things with the bag. So you are limited, but it is called a simple sandbag. If you're just looking for a sandbag to get in the market and to get working out, this is a great option. So of course, I want to test these out, especially the simple sandbag to see how they handle. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go fill them up with sand and I'm going to go hit the local park and I'm going to do the sandbag mile. All right, sandbag mile is where you take a sandbag, you pick it up to your shoulders, you throw it forward, it hits the ground. You walk, you pick it up, throw it forward, it hits the ground. You do that for a mile. Sounds super fun. It's a great way to test out the durability of these bags to make sure that no sand is going to pop and leak out. Uh, and honestly, I'm really excited to see how this simple sandbag feels compared to the Sandbag 2.0. So, let's go do
just finished the sandbag mile. It's the first time I've done it uh, like solo. So 60 pounds sandbag, 30 pounds plus water in the ruck. That was, uh, that was really hard. But the whole point of doing the sandbag mile was to test out the new GORUCK Simple Sandbag. And I'm gonna say that this thing held up really well. So let's take a couple look at uh, just a couple things here. So I'm gonna estimate that I was tossing the bag about eight feet, give or take, per toss. So on a mile, that's about 660 clean and tosses. And uh, if you look at the bag, it's in great condition. So first thing, the triple seal here for the Velcro, like it didn't move at all. Like this thing stayed locked in 100% of the time. Uh, if we look at the embroidery, a little fraying, that's about uh, the most damage you're gonna see. Here on the handles, just the slightest bit of fray from smacking the concrete over and over and over again, six, 700 times. On the backside, I mean, everything looks just solid on this sandbag. No concerns with the seams or the stitching or anything. Um, it held together pretty much perfectly. So on the sandbag mile, I took the 60 pound simple sandbag, my wife, she was tossing around the 40 pound sandbag 2.0 both of them held up to the sandbag mile just perfectly no problem whatsoever uh again when we look at a comparison of the two i think for me the biggest thing with the sandbag 2.0 it was annoying i guess almost in a good way that whenever i threw the sandbag i'd say about 60 to 70 percent of the time it landed on the handles and you'd have to roll it over to get the handles. I think that's one of the advantages of the actual sandbag 2.0 is that you've got so many handles, no matter how it lands, you can just reach down, grip it and go. So um, yeah, I think no matter which way you go, sandbag 2.0 or simple sandbag, both are a great investment. They're gonna stand up to pretty much any abuse that you can give them. Uh, so if you got any questions about sandbag 2.0 or simple sandbag, sound off in the comments below on the video or the post, and uh, we'll do our best to answer.